May is Jewish American Heritage Month, and the Actors Temple in Hell's Kitchen has been showcasing this rich culture in the performing arts for over a century. Some very famous faces are among its founding members, and next month is honoring several titans in the theater industry as part of its Meaningful Mondays series. Joining me now to talk more about it is President of the Actors Temple, Carol Ostro, Board Member and Producer, Douglas Cohen, and Rabbi Jill Hausman. So nice to see you all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Rabbi, let's start with you. Um, tell us more about the Actors Temple and also its place in the community. Oh, thank you. The Actors Temple was founded in 1917, 106 wow. years ago. Um, we are housed in an historic landmark building uh, containing um, historic plaques and stained glass and also an historic photo gallery. Um, we are a lot of different things. We're a part of Jewish history, we're a part of New York history, we're a part of theater history. And um, we are a fully functioning synagogue, a place for true spiritual growth, spirituality and acceptance, and creativity, participation. Um, people who come to us of any belief or practice not only are accepted, but feel accepted. That's wonderful. Doug, who are we honoring in this upcoming event? So on June 12th, we're honoring uh, Jason Alexander for his body of work as an actor yes. and a director. He's making his Broadway debut uh, next month, directing The Cottage on Broadway. Uh -huh. And uh, my friendship with Jason goes back to 1985. I was writing a musical, No Way to Treat a Lady, and he participated in all the demos and uh, presentations, and by the time I got my show off Broadway, he was on Broadway in Broadway Bound, Neil ah. Simon's play. And then two years later, he won the Tony Award for Jerome Robbins Broadway, and Jerome Robbins is someone that we will be celebrating the same night uh, with wonderful performers, um, including Debbie Gravitt, who won her Tony Award for that show. And we also have uh, uh, Amanda Vale, who is the author of Somewhere, The Life of Jerome Robbins. She will be there, and moderator Peter Felicia. So it promises to be a memorable yeah. Star studded. <laughs> yes. uh, Carol, the Actors Temple is celebrating, as you said, its 106th anniversary. Yes. How, um, how is it to lead this kind of organization? Well, it's not easy. <laughs> but I had no idea yeah. when I first came to the Actors Temple what I was in for. But serving the community is something that gives me great pleasure, and it's really a privilege. When I opened the doors to go into that synagogue, and I saw, as Rabbi Jill mentioned, the pictures of all of the stars who came from Europe for religious freedom and to pursue their careers in acting or whatever the professions they, they had. Members were, were not only actors and performers, but directors and managers and agents and I thought well I'm an actress and I have my skills and I think they could use me <laughs> and in that way I, I felt that I was giving back for all the, the fortune that I have in my life and it's been a privilege. Sounds like a very good fit. Um, Rabbi Jill, some of the earliest members are pretty famous. Oh yes, <laughs> Sophie Tucker, the first rabbi, Rabbi Burstein, went and made friends with her. Um, Red Buttons was a friend of his. Oh. The Three Stooges came, two. the Howard the Brothers. Three. Two of the Three well, Stooges actually, came. In the, beginning, <laughs> actually, in the beginning, it was all of the Howard Brothers. Oh, wow. Yeah. And Rabbi Burstein used to go to Yankees games with them. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, Chili Winters, I believe. Oh, yes. Burt Lawrence, and Jack Al, Benny. Al yes. Jolson. Wow. Milton Bell. Penny Youngman. Mm -hmm. And we forget that actors were marginalized in those mm. days. So this was the first time in the first show in New York that really accepted actors as as equals and uh, promised to say Kaddish for them. That was something they couldn't find elsewhere. Yeah, that's good to remember. Very quickly, Carol, the whole theater industry took, you know, took a dive during COVID. Yes. How did, uh, how did the temple kind of get back up on its feet? Well, we suffered. We had to close our doors and we didn't want to not be able to pay our employees. We, we 
went everywhere to seek money. The stupid organization, bless their hearts, they gave us some money. We went to the government. I made phone calls. Rabbi Jill made phone calls. Please, we have to stay here. We have to be here at least another hundred years. And I learned to make videos. And I made videos of the lives of some of the very famous members, like the Barry sisters, Sophie Tucker. And we, we made money that way. And somehow, it's a miracle. The whole place <laughs> is a solid miracle. We survived, and finally we opened our doors by doing a fundraiser for the Ukrainians and their oh. problems, and we had the Ukrainian chorus. And, um, and, and you must know also that not all of our members are from the performing mm. area. We have normal people. <laughs> <laughs> We're not all actors. Like you said, everyone is welcome. It sounds everyone. like such we a special place. We want everyone yes. to come in and know how beautiful this building is. It's a jewel. Is. It's, it is. Well, and we're off also an off-Broadway theater. Ah, very nice. Yes. So we even see performances there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Right. absolutely. Well, thank you all so much for being here this morning and telling us about your very special actor's temple. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. And bless you. So thank you. And again, the Jerome Robbins celebration is on June 12th at 7.30 p.m. It'll be held at the Actor's Temple on West 47th Street. Tickets are $60 for the public and $50 for members. We'll be right back.